Hi, Daryl Crow here, and today I want to focus on a very, very important topic for all you beginning artists. We're going to cover the six essential criteria that you need to know about in order to design your own painting. Daryl, Daryl, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I got some news for you, my friend. Really? We just received an email. I just got it this You're very You're stopping this whole film just to share an email with me? So am I, yes. Now listen, here's what's happening. Cindy is really in a dilemma. She's sitting in front. She watched your video on cleaning brushes. Yeah. But she's really, really got some major questions here. Look, she wants to know if you mix your baby oil with water or turpentine or anything, or thinner, and should really, really need you now, this very instant, to go through and explain your entire process for cleaning brushes with baby oil. Now, because we take pride in satisfying <laughs> our customers, drop everything you were doing and let's do this for Cindy. What do you say? Well, I guess I don't have any choice since you've already told the world I'm going to do it here. That's correct. That's correct. And remember so, that. Okay, so do I. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go prepare because you're not prepared for this, obviously. No, I'll no. go prepare. I don't even know the you. answer. Uh, it's the questions that throw you. You have all the answers. I've noticed it's the questions that throw you. The no, questions. No. Ah, being a man of all the answers, it's the questions. Yeah, it reminds me of that photo I saw of an orangutan against the wall. An orangutan against the yes, wall. Yes, and he had his hand over his head like this. He looked like he was in a terrible state of shock. And he said, you know, just as I finished answering all of life's questions, they went and changed them. Wow. I'm going to make like I didn't hear that, and I'm just going to go set up stuff for you, okay? Okay. All right, Cindy, let's talk briefly about what baby oil uh, cleaning method I use. Okay, basically, I don't dilute it. I don't dilute it with water because water does not mix with oil paint. So you don't want to use something like that. Now, I do not use uh, thinner because the reason I went to baby oil was to get away from the medical issues with odorless thinner or odorless mineral spirit. So, the best thing to do is for me to go right down to the palette and show you how I get ready to clean brushes and then I'll clean a few different brushes just so you can see what I'm doing. Now, I've modified the way that I clean my uh, brushes uh, with baby oil versus what I have been doing and that's the film that you saw. So, I'm going to show you the old way and then show you the new way. You can choose either way. All right, let's get started by going down to the palette. As you can see here, I've got two bottles of baby oil. They're the least expensive bottles I could find. I found them at our local uh, food market. You may be able to find them at your local discount food market or perhaps even the dollar store. Be nice to get these. These are 20 ounce bottles. I use two of them. In one, I only use half of it. So the very first thing I'll do is go ahead and unscrew the top. Alright, now one of these, since I'm using half, I want to keep the top so it won't be that one. The second thing I'll do is save this lid, okay? I'll save this lid. That's right. Alright, then you take out your MacGyver knife. You know, that's that trusty Swiss Army knife you carry with you at all times. You never know what planet you're going to be stranded on. And we'll go ahead and just cut open the tops, okay? Just like that. Make sure you don't uh, cut yourself. I don't want to re be responsible for any carnage. Alrighty. And now I have a pail. Now the pail will probably hold about 80 ounces of water or 80 ounces of fluid. And then I want to get a freezer bag. This is a one gallon Ziploc freezer bag. And I'll take my thinner screen and slide it right into this bag. Now the reason I do that is because I don't like to do any more cleaning than I have to. So when I'm done with this, I'll just slide it over the edges. I'll go ahead and clean my paints 
all day long and then when I'm done then all I have to do is reach in with a screwdriver pull out that screen and then I can recycle my baby oil now for recycling every time I paint when I'm done I take all of the baby oil and pour it off into a five gallon pail and I let it sit for a while. I'll go ahead and fill up that whole pail so that could take me as much as three months, two months, depending on how, how much oil I'm using. And when I'm all done, I just let it sit for another two, three months while I pour into a second one and then I have a third five gallon uh, pail that I use. So I'm cycling through about 15 gallons of baby oil at a time. And, and the importance of doing that is I like to save money so if I let all of the sediments sink to the bottom of the pail then what happens is that I can just skim the tops of it with a uh, cup and use that and it'll be just as clean as brand new baby oil. You can do that with thinner as well but I prefer to do it with baby oil. Let's go on back to the uh, palette now and I'll just simply take one of these uh, containers and see I'll just pour it right in just like that. Now again, these are 20 ounce containers, so I want to put about half of these, all right, right in here, and see, there we are, about half of it, and then make sure you put the uh, lid back on, because if you're like me, you'll have a tendency to forget that, next thing you know, you'll bump your table, and it'll be all over the floor. Now at this point, I am absolutely ready to go ahead and clean my brushes. Let me just grab a brush here and I'll show you what I mean. You all know I like to use these big brushes. Well, I've got a couple of colors here that Joe graciously put out. And uh, can you imagine that he interrupted me and uh, just to bring us the request in? Well, that's the way we are here. We want to make sure we answer all of the questions on students. I guess that also extends when we're doing a uh, film we have an unplanned tip for you here right now and and that's okay you guys know I don't mind alrighty so next thing to do is go ahead and do the painting and then when you're all done what you do is you take a paper towel and see that I'll just pull it right through just like that and I'm getting out all the excess now what I will do is go ahead and press this in here and swirl it around to take the color off of the brush. But let me show you what I'm doing first with a different brush. Okay, this is the same thing as the brush you've just seen except it's a little bit smaller. When I go into the gray, can you see that? See how I'm rubbing that? I can't really show this to you the, um, if it's just clouding up. Alright, see that? And that's what I used to do. I used to take my brush loaded with paint after I wiped it off with a paper towel and I would go ahead and swirl it around. And then one day I was in class and some a professional painter said, why are you doing that? He said, what you need to do is wipe off the uh, excess paint like you do and then just go ahead and dunk it in. Don't shake it off and carry it over to your beater bucket, beat it, and then come back and clean it. So I tried that a few times and you know what? That really allows your oil to go ahead and stay clean longer. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I've got this brush now. So what I do is I just go ahead and stick it right in, just like that, and lift it up. Don't shake it out, just dunk it and lift it. Now let's go to the beater rack. Now I have my brush, okay? It's got that wet, wet, wet uh, brush. And it's covered with paint. See that green paint there? Now all I do is, see, I just come back here. Now this is nothing more than just a refrigerator rack. Okay, they, they run just a few dollars, well under ten. Alright, see that? But you see, I don't just do it like this. I beat the living tar out of it. Hear that sound? That's tar flying right out of that brush. Okay. Now look at this. I'll take the paper towel and see that? just a little bit of color. Now let's go back to the bucket. Now, you see this? I'm ready to go ahead and swirl it ever so light. See that? It's not 
becoming cloudy. That's the beauty of this process. So all you do is you go ahead and squeeze off the excess oil from the side of the bucket. You go back and you beat this again and then you wipe it out with a paper towel. That's all there is to it. Now there are many different kinds of brushes we have to clean and they can range from the uh, size of the two that you've just seen to other brushes like this. Now this brush and this brush I do not beat in the beater bucket. So after I've gone ahead and cleaned them then I will go ahead. Now when you first clean them you wipe them off, stick it in here, wipe it really good and then come back in here and swirl it around and you preserve the cleanliness of your thinner and it's just that easy okay and the same thing here just go ahead dunk it in wipe it out good and then come in and clean it I used to get one or two painting out of a uh, bucket of uh, baby oil but with this method I can go all week long well I hope you've enjoyed this tip now we didn't get to talk to you about the six essential criteria for designing your own painting but we'll get to that next week I'll see you then I'm Daryl Crow and yes you can paint well, I'm painting along Daryl Crow and along painting and it goes like this I could be painting the scene with color green painting and it goes like this Billion people I know think it's hard, but this ain't so. Saddle, it's a breeze. It's easy as one, two, three. Oh, well, I'm a painter, along. Saddle, throw, and it's all. Painter, and it goes like this. Clouds on a mountain, a river, and some trees. Rocks in a brook. It's easy, can't you see? Oh, I'm painting the lawn, saddle crow and the song. Painting, and it goes like this. I could be painting the scene with color.